Hundreds of FBI cases are in jeopardy because of hair analysis technology that turned out to be flawed. Kit Doe joins us live from Santa Clara to explain what happened. Kit. Good morning. The Innocence Project played a big role in all this, and they got chapters all over the country, including here at Santa Clara University. Now, this is a damning report on the FBI, who has been relying on hair analysis for decades. They use a microscope and compare individual strands of hair with only their eyes. The FBI now admits this method is deeply flawed. A new report out today by the Innocence Project and the National Association of Criminal Defense Lawyers found that from the 1970s through 1999, 25 of 29 forensic examiners from the FBI had errors in their testimony, impacting 257 cases. The report also found that out of 18 people executed, 12 of them had errors in their cases, either in the testimony or lab reports. Essentially, FBI agents gave testimony that was not based on scientific fact. Cleveland Wright spent almost half of his life in prison before he was exonerated last year. He'd been convicted for a murder back in 1979, but the case against him was based on that flawed FBI hair analysis. I didn't know too much about law when I got arrested and locked up, but I just knew I was innocent. They're very sharp. Uh, and very trustworthy. It doesn't mean that their experimentation was done properly. Now, in a statement, the Justice Department says affected defendants will be notified of past errors and promised justice would be done. Now, this could have an even wider impact. That's because the FBI has trained hundreds of examiners in counties and states all over the country. By the way, California has five impacted cases. We're live in Santa Clara, Kitto, KPIX 5.